So also today, we got a story on December 7th about astronaut John Glenn being hospitalized. And what I wonder about the story, the first line in the story on CNN, it says, he was hospitalized more than a week ago. And like, so why are we just now getting the story on December 7th? Why didn't we get the story more than a week ago or a week ago when he was first put in the hospital? I wonder, right, right after it, it says, according to Ohio State University, and I wonder if it's connected, it, I guarantee it's connected to the college football national championship this year. I just got done making a few videos talking about the number 95 as well, the, the Brad Pitt of Pakistan. His life was, there's a bunch of 95 stuff connected to it, and he died on in the plane crash today on December 7th. I just talked about this earthquake as well that happened on December 7th in Asa, Indonesia. And one thing I never noticed was that it's located on 95 degrees east. And if you read out 95 in Gematria, it equals 129, just like Crimson Tide. Alabama is the Crimson Tide. Astronaut equals 129 as well. John Glenn was an astronaut. It's funny because as the season progressed, I started thinking that Michigan or Nebraska was going to have a better season than they truly did. If you go clear back and watch my original few videos in regards to the death of Sam Fultz, I mentioned how I don't think that it is synced up for Nebraska. There's something super special about the number 112. And if anything, I th I'm pretty sure the videos I say, if anything, I think Ohio State is going to win the championship or something along the lines of that. And then as the season progressed, it started looking more and more like I was going to be wrong and whatever. So whatever, that's the whole point of this. I'm, I'm learning as I go along and, you know, trying to put it all together and figure out what all the numbers mean and why and all that and why and how they're actually doing it and what exactly is the pattern. So... That's why I don't like making predictions because it's obvious that they are using numbers, but to actually figure it out exactly every single time, it's still just something that I haven't figured out completely. But just interesting that they tell us that John Glenn was age 95, a number I was talking about in regards to stories all day today. 95 and 95 sinks up to Crimson Tide. The national foot, the college national football championship will also be in 33 days. You know, the huge number of obsession, highest degree of Scottish Rite Freemasonry. The reason that the story stuck out to me so much is there's just been so much moon symbolism going on. I've talked about the death of Prince and how he was pretty much synced up to all kinds of things going on throughout the year ever since he died on the 112th day of the year and the Simpsons killed him off on November 2nd a lot like 112 and they killed him off with Neil Armstrong the first guy to walk on the moon and Prince died on the night of a full moon and a whole lot more that's connected to that but I talked about Neil Armstrong a whole lot and then we had the extra super moon the closest one since 1948 that came on Prince Charles's birthday and we also got an earthquake story that day in New Zealand and I'll show you why that's significant here in a second so anyway we get the story today about John Glenn being hospitalized and on December 2nd or 1st let me find it here maybe I didn't put it in here but they say it was more than a week ago and about a week ago, we got a story about Buzz Aldrin having to go to the hospital as well, another former astronaut. Buzz Aldrin's full name in Gematria equals 99, just like John Glenn. Not to mention that, also, I guess if you write out 99, that's another one of them words that equals 129. America and Jewish Gematria also equals 129. So just interesting, both of their names have ties to 99, 
which can connect back in a roundabout way connects back to astronaut that they both were. Buzz Aldrin's full name, the big way, also equals 198. Anything in simple gematria that equals 33 also always equals 198 in English gematria. You just times it by six. These two guys were born 3,108 days apart, also 444 weeks exactly, which is interesting because the word Masonic in English gematria equals 444. 318 is a number that I've seen a whole lot in regards to Prince Charles and whatnot, Queen Diana, or Princess Diana, his wife that he got divorced to. She died on August 31st, 31 slash 8. Prince Charles, his birthday in a non-leap year is the 318th day of the year. It's also related to pi, which these people love to do. They love to do things in cycles and circles. And I'm not going to go into a big old spiel about it or whatever, but the number 227 is also an important number in regards to pi. And if you take 22 divided by 7, it equals 3.14. If you even write out in Gematria, 22 divided by 7 as birds, it equals 314. That's connected to pi. But if you do it the backwards way, 7 divided by 22, you get 0.318. So just interesting, these guys are born 3,108 days apart. Buzz Aldrin also equals 52 and 133 in Gematria. Just Aldrin equals 58 like Freemasonry. If you read out John Glenn's full name, the big way equals 205, which connects to Israel and Philadelphia. Talk about the book of Revelation a lot and how Philadelphia comes from the book of Revelation, the nation's original capital. Anyway, when, when Buzz Aldrin, the story about him being in, going to the hospital, was he was at the South Pole and then had fluid in his lungs, so they had to evacuate him and put him in the hospital, and they took him to Christ Church, New Zealand, which is just interesting in regards to the extra supermoon that we got on Prince Charles's birthday on November 14th. We got this earthquake story in the area of Christ Church, New Zealand. They actually said it was 93 miles away from Christ Church, but just interesting in regards. They mentioned Christ Church in the article. It was, you know, the day of the extra super moon. And we get an astronaut that gets flown there just, just whatever, a couple weeks after that. And once again, in Gematria, Christ Church, New Zealand, it equals 243, the 243rd day of the year, you got it, 31 slash 8, so there's something super special going on with it. I wonder if the reason that they mentioned that Buzz Aldrin, or John Glenn was hospitalized more than a week ago, is also they're telling us that in the next week we're going to have some type of story that's going to connect to it. And in one week from December 7th is December 14th, the day that we're getting the other super moon this year. So I just wonder if that's why they're telling us this happened a week before, because they want us to look a week into the future. A few days after we got the story about John, or I keep mixing the guys up, but of Buzz Aldrin being in the hospital at Christ Church, New Zealand, they gave us a story about him keeping up with the Kardashians, reading this news story or whatever. He even sent out a tweet at 1.33 p.m. about Kim Kardashian. Of course, his name equals 133. Kardashian and Gematria equals 86. He's 86 years old. He was at the South Pole when he got six. South Pole equals 131. 
keeping up with the Kardashians equals 131. His tweet was also on a date numerology of 52. His name equals 133 and 52 the small way. You know, I've covered a whole lot in regards to Kanye West, too. I mean, there's something... He had the clothing line that looked like ISIS and all kinds of stuff going on. He said that he was going to... He's going to run for president and 2020. He's super connected to a lot of things. That's why he was singing the Queen song at Glastonbury that one year when Dave Grohl supposedly broke his leg and they had Kanye come there. And I mean, think about it. The Queen song and he had the feud with Taylor Swift who has bad blood. The Queen song by Freddie Mercury who had bad blood. The Queen of England. Taylor Swift equals the same thing as Queen Elizabeth II. Beyonce Knowles equals the same thing as Queen Elizabeth II. But Kim Kardashian equals 56. Kanye equals 56. That's why he said he's going to run for president, because president equals 56. Their daughter, they call her Nori. Nori equals 56 in Gematria. Paris, France equals 56. Isis equals 56. There's a whole lot of stuff going on with that story, but... It really, I guess it doesn't necessarily apply to this story that I know of, but it's just funny that they even mentioned some stupid thing about keeping up with the Kardashians. But anyway, I guess we'll see. We'll see if anything's to come of these stories. I know they've just been doing this space moon type theme for a while now. That I really noticed after the death of Prince. So... Just kind of interesting, we get the story of two famous astronauts in the news in the same week, and they're both going to the hospital. You know, it's almost Christmas time, too, and he, he's got sick at the South Pole. I know Santa's from the North Pole, but it just makes me wonder if that's part of the coding, something to do with the, the poles and whatnot. I don't know. We'll keep following the story. I think there's going to be a, at least a symbolic story on December 14th that goes along with the moon stuff and whatnot. We'll wait and see. We'll leave it at that. Have a good one.